G'day and welcome to my Blender Pipe Joints Tutorials. This tutorial has been made for Blender 2.6. A written version of this tutorial can be found on Wikibooks under the heading Blender New to Pro Pipe Joints. There is a link to Wikibooks in the description below. This is the third pipe joint in the lesson. It's a three cylinder joint. And there it is there. So open your previous pipe joints blender file. Your two pipes should be on a separate layer to one. So go to layer one. Shift C to center your cursor. Shift A and add a cube. Tab into edit mode. Select all and subdivide once. We're going to be using a similar method for this pipe joint as we did with the six-way joint. So press A to deselect, press C to bring up circle select and select all of the center vertices of each of the outer edges. Left mouse click will select the vertices, scroll wheel click will deselect and right mouse click turns off circle select mode. Once you've selected those, because we're only going to be scaling and extruding three sides, we need to select the center vertices of the three sides that we aren't going to extrude. Notice the pivot point moving as I select these vertices. That's because my pivot point is still set to median. You need to make sure your pivot point is set to the cursor. Otherwise, when it comes to making a nice smooth corner, it just won't work properly. Now, hit S and scale to the square root of 2. 1.4142. That's 1.4142. And you should have an object that looks like this. Three concaved sides and three slightly convexed sides. Now go into face select mode. C for circle select and select all of the faces in the three concaved sides. Then hit Alt E for your extrusion options and extrude faces by three. And now your object should look like this. Go back into vertice mode, vertice select mode, A to deselect all, and A again to select all and remove doubles. Next, you want to select all of the center vertices of the three extruded faces. Then X, delete vertices. Now, if we look inside our pipe, we can see we've got some more wire frames to get rid of, like in the six way joint. So select those vertices. X, delete vertices. Now go into wireframe mode, select the vertices at the end of your pipe and scale along the X axis. And as you can see it went the wrong way because my pivot point is set to cursor, I now want to set it to median. Now scale again, S, X, 0. Do the same to the bottom, select, S for scale, Z, 0. Change view so you can get the third extruded side, B for box select, S, Y, 0. Press Z, put it back into solid mode. And now turn it so you can see the back of your object. And so we're going to do a little scaling here so we can make a nice smooth corner. Make sure you reset your pivot point to the 3D cursor or else it won't scale properly. And then select the vertices that you see selected here. Press 
We're going to be scaling this to the inverse of the square root of 2, which will be 0 0.7071. So press S for scale and type in 0 0.7071. And now your object should look like that. Next, tab into object mode and click on smooth. And now we're going to put in the modifier. So go to modifiers and select subdivision surface, view to 4, render to 4. And now we're going to want to tidy it up a bit with the crease tool like we did in the other two pipe joints. So turn your subdivision surface modifier view back to zero so we can see our vertices and select the vertices you see me selecting here. When you've selected all of the vertices, turn your subdivision modifier view back up to 4 so you can see what happens. Press Shift E to bring up your crease tool and set it to 0.5. Apply your subdivision modifier, go to modifiers, go to solidify and 0.05. Apply that modifier, go to your materials, select material, PVC. And there you go. It's finished. Now hit numpad 0 to go into camera mode or camera view and if you move your cursor left or right or up and down it will tilt or turn the camera. If you hold down your middle mouse button while we're doing this, it will scroll the camera. So find yourself a view you like and do a quick render so you can see your finished product. Now press M so you can put this pipe onto a different layer. I'm going to chuck it onto layer 10 with my other pipes. I'm going to scale it down so it's around about the same size as my other pipes. and move it into a position for rendering later on. Right, that looks like a good size. And that's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to save your file. And we've got one more pipe to go. Thanks for watching.